Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. I think I think people deal with, with breakups very differently, and I think you know when you break up, you should be respectful to yourself mm. and to the person Percentage, that you yes. that you you broke up you you've broken up with. And I think some people break up and they want to prove to the world, oh my good, I am not hurt, I'm fine. Yeah. Or or I want to prove a point to the person that I've broken up with. Yeah. And there's no point to prove. Mm. I think that if you if you are proving points, that means that there's something fundamental wrong with you. You don't know yourself. And does it take you a week to get over someone? A month? No, I, I don't think there's a time period that mm. you know. Do you ever truly get over somebody? Actually, I think you do. Because right? no, I'll tell you why I'm saying do you ever truly. Mm. It's because um, you 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 loved the person. Yes. Right. And wholeheartedly. Yeah, wholeheartedly. So mm-hmm. what I don't understand is those people who were in a relationship with someone and then they suddenly talk about this person. Like they, were the, they were the worst person in the world. It's like, but how... That's someone who hasn't, who's not over that person. Exactly. Yeah. So I think... That, that's an emotion in itself. Exactly. Exactly. And that's what, and that's what I, I feel and I agree with you. Mm. And I think, for me, I deal with break, breakups in a way that... Like, you know, what is it? You know, treat someone else how you'd like to be treated. And yeah, that's yeah. just it. And so for me, that's how I, I, I deal with breakups. And often, I would prefer... Uh, this is so weird. Sometimes, I think what I... I've often I've often waited for them to get into a relationship <laughs> before I get into one. <laughs> Is that your thing? Yes, <laughs> yes. Because no, and it's not. And it's, it's not because um, I don't know. But and every single breakup I've had, yeah. that's what's happened. I've like I I, I, I don't know why why I do that, but I always have you dated famous people? That. Have I? Um, I think. Well, have I? Well, I mean, was she famous then? Mom. Uh, um, th- there was a very funny um, photo that went around like a few years ago uh. that every other month would come up. Yeah. Um, I was at the July with my then girlfriend and we went to watch uh, a performance, but there was only one space. Mm-hmm. There was a couch like this, but there was only a space right in front and mm-hmm. next to an ex of mine. Yes, yes. And then she said, okay, come and sit here. So we sat down and they took a photo of the three of us like this. <laughs> and I don't know if you remember, there was a tablet. I haven't seen that. There was a tablet called Just Curious. But yes, yes, Just around. Curious, yes. And they put this thing up. I was in a meeting from 8 o'clock that morning. I was in a meeting from 8. And then around from at 1, I look at my phones. Why do I have so many mentions yeah. on Twitter? I, don't, I haven't tweeted anything. What's yeah. up? And then I see this picture, and everyone's saying, "Oh my God, it's so awkward!" <laughs> oh, what is that? It's so awkward. <laughs> it's like it was a meme. <laughs> it was r- all over. And who uh, was it? Who was it? And then the headline, uh, just curious, was was Posoki Mang <laughs> Ka- Kaya with his girlfriend and his ex. <laughs> um, it was Boiti. So was yeah. Boiti the ex? Or yeah, the she was the ex. She was the ex. Oh, you dated Boiti? Uh, yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. But that was a long time ago. A long yeah, time ago. That was yeah. that, bro. Like you know, she's amazing. You know, she's a great person. Yeah. Um, How did you meet her? Um, actually, so funny. Twitter. <laughs> 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 it was going down in the DMs. No, no, but also no because you know I always look and and uh, at, at this is a thing and, and I usually get. I mean, yes, I do get attracted to really was beautiful women. Was she famous women. at the time? No, no. no. Oh, okay. Like really beautiful people. Mm-hmm. Um, but the beauty for me is usually the the person. And, yeah, yeah. And, and I always think a lot of people don't. Thanks to celebrities. Don't get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I think a lot of people don't really get to find that about the person. Mm. So they usually just look at the surface and yeah. they leave a person at that. And mm. and for me, I really fall in love with the human being. That, oh wow. That 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 I meet yeah. and. It's a great bonus that they happen to be beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, so you made a vibe to that. Yeah. Uh, Why did you guys break up? Uh, psh, it was 10 years ago, so I don't know. <laughs> 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 oh, you don't want to remember. Uh, no, no. But it, it was, it, it's like, you know, yeah. it was because, you know, I felt <laughs> that we were... It's so funny. It's stupid. I, I think I said, um, sh- she always rags me about this. She you says, broke up with her? N- no <laughs> comment. 
And now, guys, no, but I don't know why we're talking about this. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, no, let's, let's not talk about this. All right, this. cool. Uh, what yeah. does he value most about himself? Um, I think my sense of uh, who I am and yeah. not forgetting where I'm from. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, because I always think that, like, the f- if you don't forget where you're from, you will always find the center of yourself. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I mean, with you, dude, thing. you're so yeah. humble, dude, and your story. Mm. It's also very humbling, but it could have been the other way around, you know, mm-hmm. in terms of now you've got this money, this fame, and you could have been a dick. I'd prefer to have one than being one. <laughs> 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 oh, goodness. I can't even say that. But, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it looks to me, because, I mean, it's the first time I meet you today, yeah, but it looks yeah. to me like you still stay mm. grounded. You no, know? you have. I, I also, the thing is, I also really like people are grounded. Mm. Like, and... And I'm, I, I gravitate, gravitate towards those people. Them, yes. So if people are a bit like, you know, pompous, pompous and it, it, it gets very difficult for me to, yeah, yeah, you know, to ha- be around them. All right, Kanyo, uh, she's got a question. Oh, it's about to get deep here. Mm-hmm. I know he's mentioned that his grandfather was his uh, greatest inspiration. Besides him, who does he look up to? Uh, my mother. Okay. Yeah. She's still alive. She's still alive. Oh, yeah. nice. She's 65. Mm. Mm. Okay. She doesn't look like day over like 45. Oh, yes, yeah. I saw a picture yeah. of, of, of yeah. her on your yeah. Insta, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah. maybe 50, not 45, but yeah. And uh-huh. well, what does she think about your no, newfound success? No, it? she's very, you know what the weird thing, my mom always used to say to me when I was a child, you are like a rich man's son. Mm. It's like you, you seem like, so I don't know what it is, but you have this thing about you that, Wow. And mothers know, uh, yeah, and, and I and I didn't know what that meant, but I still don't know what it means. But <laughs> <laughs> my mom says I'm worthless all the time, even yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- I think she's trying to bring you to yourself, not because it, I think she knows that you like. She's like, he's gonna go far, but I need to remind him that, like, listen, <laughs> I made you. <laughs> uh, mm. If there's one thing he could change about himself, what would it be? Well, I mean, I I always. I don't know why you'd want to change anything about yeah, yourself yeah, because yeah. Um, it's almost like having regrets. Yeah, and and the thing is, like, if things happen, that they happened, and it's what they make you you. Yeah, and therefore it means that I wish I wasn't me if I'm changing those things. Mm. I like who I am. Mm. Yeah. So you don't like to have like a bigger penis or something like that. Um. I think a survey could be conducted. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd find out what they think. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, good Started grief. with Boiti. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have talked about her. But yeah. That's, <laughs> sorry, Boiti. That, anyway. Yeah. Um, what keeps you going? Um, uh, Petro, Petro Yako Indoni. Um, really, I think for me, it's... You know, I want I always want to look back and and be like, oh, okay, great. Um, I am a better person than I was then. Mm. That's what that's what keeps me going. Um, mm. and also just to make sure that, you know, the more you know, God gives me. Um, I, I always say that what I want to do at the end of the day is, the number of people I've impacted and helped up, should be, I'd I'd like for it to go beyond me counting mm. so I, I shouldn't be able to say i have that person i have that person and that person what do you I mean should help? Not be, like like help up somehow you know okay. and and in, in, in even ways that i don't know that oh. i've helped you you know okay. uh you know for example i know that denzel washington he he donates money to some scholarships right yes. and so he doesn't know who those a lot of those yes yes, are. yes and and for me like when i help someone up i want to be the to the number to be so big that I I, c- I cannot count. And you want nothing in return. And, and, it well, just fulfills you. It's just because you know I know what it's mm. like not to have help. Mm. I know what it's Shit. like not to have help. Yeah. Shit. Mm. And till this day, even with uh, your success, do you still have challenges in terms of you struggle with people and you need help at that time? Yeah, it's very difficult to ask for help. Mm. I I find it very very difficult to ask for help. Um, but what I can do is so funny because. I'd rather help someone get help than ask for help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. Uh, someone says, has he gotten help for his fear of dying young like his dad did? Oh, wow. That Jesus is someone who knows yeah. a bit about me. Um, yeah. I don't... 
I don't know because my father died when he was like 26. Mm. Um, he was a youngster, man. Very young. Mm. And so I am... And it, it's, it's interesting because I read a, a book, Bill Clinton's book and Churchill, and Bill Clinton was also afraid of dying young because his father and his grandfather died young. Winston Churchill, the same thing. And, and I remember, as I was, so this is not weird. It's something that actually happens to... So I think that it's, it's an interesting challenge for, I think, maybe young men, is that if your father and your grandfather die young, you wonder if it's going to happen to you. Mm. And what, what that has driven me to do, I think, I think that's driven me to do like a lot of the things that I do. Yeah. And which is like, I may not have children, but I've got books, <laughs> mm. you know. So there are things, books. Oh, there are yeah. things that I've left behind. Fuck. So yeah, yeah, because and and that is going at last. And, and, and books are better because they don't chow money; they bring <laughs> in money. <laughs> so yeah. Oh fuck! Yeah. I've never thought about it like yeah, that actually. Yeah. So what am I leaving behind? And I think for me that is what what I, I I think about a lot. But I think any human fears death, you know? Yeah, I think it's difficult not to fear death mm. because what we worry about is have I accomplished what I was supposed yeah. to accomplish, yeah. what I was born to do, to do. My, my rent on earth, you know? Mm. What am I contributing to my yeah. rent? Uh, what is his net worth? I don't think you're going to tell us that, but it's... I it's don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> The millions, I'm sure, mm. definitely. Do you still remember, like, the first time you made your first million or, like, the first big paycheck you got? I mean, like, for me, I'll tell you. I, I'll tell you. I remember when uh, my big paycheck, for me, this is the one I always remember, yeah. 5,000 rand. Wow. And I remember, I was like, oh, my goodness, I am getting, because my first job, I was getting paid, like, 2,400 rand yeah. a month. Yeah. And in then advertising. The, yeah, advertising. And yeah. then the very next job, I went for an interview and they asked me how much I said I wanted. I was like, uh, 3,000. <laughs> and then, great. And then when I got my contract, I was like, what, 5,800 <laughs> bucks? I was like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> this is almost twice what I asked for. <laughs> so, anyway, that was that paycheck I remember yeah, to this yeah. day. Yeah. And you probably spend 5000 a day now. <laughs> no, 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 no. So when did the advertising... Maybe 50000 I'm kidding. Hey! I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, 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 no. Uh, I wish. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, yeah. When did the advertising bug bite you? Actually, in, in high school, uh, this person came from the AAA to show us ads that were actually being done at 16 by people who were like three or four years older than I was. And I was like... Wow. What? You mean like these people are making such cool things mm. and they're only like three years older than me. Mm. I was like, I totally want to do that. Yeah. And literally, and then I, n- I thought about nothing else since then. And where do you think it's headed? Because like digital is coming in, oh, yeah. shaking things up. No, but what's happening with digital is that like... It's amazing, I'm right? just... And the great thing about where I'm working is that we're right on the forefront of mm. it. And that is... I, we just do digital advertising only. That is all we do. Well, mm. for now, and there's radio, there's all sorts involved. Yeah. But, and where you literally have to, where you can target the time, mm. the best time mm. to your ads should, should flight and mm. who you should be talking to, mm. what they are looking for. Mm. When they're searching on Google, you mm. kind of think, okay, great. When they search terms, yeah. uh, it, it's, everything's telling me. Very, it's very data driven. Mm. So, and you almost have to be like, you have to be mathematically minded, but at the same time, you've got to understand human behavior. Yeah. And when you put those two together... It's and magic. With, yeah, and without that understanding and that ability, without the maths and being very human at the same time, I don't think that you will be able to go very far in this new digital world. Hmm. And, and I also think not just the digital world, and I think our humanity students hmm. are probably going to do very well in this new digital world. For example... Um, I know that um, companies like Google and all of those are actually are looking for linguists mm. to get, because initially you think that they are they look for like coders and all of that. Yes. But the reason they're looking for linguists is because voice is like the future. So people are not necessarily going to be on their phones; they're just going to be like, "Hey, Google." Ah, blah, blah, blah. Siri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and what linguists have to do now is to think about uh, how do the various ways people will ask the same question. Oh, and then languages. yes, and then have to program that oh, so that the 
your, the machines yeah. can learn it yeah. and understand what people say. So you can say. have a smart home in Yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. So for example, now, because like, I've got um, a HomePod, which is like uh, the Apple speaker. So I'll be like, uh, instead of, uh, hey, I'll be like, hey, Siri, uh, play music. Or I'll say, hey, Siri, after I'm done, listen. Mm. I'll be like, hey, hey Siri, cut it out. <laughs> Siri should know that I'm saying that the music is done. Yeah. And I cut it down. And, oh, I can say stop. I can say shut up. I, they, it will do the same thing. You yeah. know, it will still shut it down. So as a linguist, you've got to think about all the possible permutations that people would say the same thing th- so that the machine can know what to do. Who would have thought that would be an industry? It's dude. an industry. And that's why I'm saying that. So human behavior in this new world of machines oh. and computer and data is Eish, going to be, be much more valuable. Becoming more and more like yeah. robots. Yes. So like what robots do, because now you've got it, because now, for example, comes issue of ethics, when they're creating robots, um, what are the ethics when it comes to like robots becoming more intelligent? Mm. So what ethical codes should you code into those robots now, into the machines? Mm. Um, again, that is a humanity student. Yeah, yeah. It's not like a, a You need a, a human engineer. touch. Yeah. You need a human touch. So how are we going to go out? So the world is really going to change very differently. Uh, what do you think about the education system in terms of like, is it worth it studying things that a robot can do now? I think you should study the things that robots can do so that you can, you can control the robot. Does that make sense? So that you know, you know what to program mm. around the robot. I'm saying like, for example, accounting. Is that something? No, robot. The thing is a robot... There are lots of things that robots cannot pick up. Okay. Um, and um, so there are certain subtleties that a, only maybe a human being can pick up. But I think accounting, I don't think that a robot can do accounting. Because sometimes... You can program. So, yeah, but sometimes it might, it might miss fraud. And the, the, the parts I think I, I can't really th- yeah, yeah. be very precise or mm. think how. But I do think that there are things that a machine will miss mm. that a human being cannot miss. Because... Mm. Maybe a machine will not pick up behavior, mm. but it'll just pick up patterns as opposed to behavior. Okay, what about like some, okay, let me give you like mm. radio. Because mm. there's some stations whereby they're just playing music yeah. the whole day and then all they have is two shows, the breakfast show and the yeah. drive time show, yeah. which needs obviously the human yes. touch for yes. advertisers and whatnot. Yeah. So what about something like that? Well, that's, the thing is people also, like for example, when there are certain personalities that you want to listen to, right? But it will depend on the personality. Mm-hmm. And because, like right now, I hardly listen to radio, for yeah. example. Not even on um, <laughs> uh, Well, Because I, I, I wake up very late. <laughs> that's a problem. Um, so I hardly listen to radio. Yes. And uh, if I'm listening to it, it's because there's information that I want. Mm. Or... Uh, it's scheduled programming. Yes. yes. So I think it's very, like, there... Because people search for what they want now. Yeah. yeah. And... And I think pers- so that's, that's why saying. personalities so are going to be more interesting. Would you encourage someone who wants to be in radio to go study it? Because it's, it's... What part of radio? I think that's what you would ask yourself. What part of radio? Unless, like, what part of radio... Okay, well, how... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Please just turn it off there. Yeah. So, so basic, it would be like, what part of radio do I want to transform? Mm. What are things that are working about radio? And for the... How can I make radio relevant for the new world mm. and i think for me that's what if you're starting it that's what you need to do like ah, everything got you. you know there's someone adapt like, yeah ad- how to adapt mm. yeah that's what you need to do um, what did you think of fresh fresh mm. I, I think it was fantastic you know him it's funny. getting fired no i'm saying he is fantastic <laughs> 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 do you know i think there's a, a an agenda that yeah. no one is really talking about there um i think there's a bigger agenda that they're not being honest about to yes. be honest um because you can't fire someone over no, that that's not a know, fireball offense i think there's you know, you, you, I, I'm speculating that I have my own theories around that, but Which that I will not share on this platform. <laughs> but I have my own theories. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, well, I'll, I'll let me. Let, I think okay. it's a theory. I suppose I could say, yeah. perhaps um, the SABC is under a lot of, of pressure. Mm-hmm. He's probably one of the highest, highest earners. earners, 
and because they need revenue mm. they need someone who's younger they're going to mm. pay for pay less yeah. and they're going to keep a bit of mo- of money after yeah. that so i i think there are certain things like that that i'd play yeah. that you know they won't share with the public yes, yes yes and they will find they will give us what we think is acceptable yeah uh, in order you know to say that guys we need to streamline and <laughs> make a bit more money and that's it all right cool what's his guilty pleasure that's another question Jeez, I have so many. I love reading. I love reading. I uh, like writing. I like watching series. Mm, great which series, series. Which series are you watching uh, now? Oh, I just finished Chernobyl. Oh, I haven't seen oh, that. Oh, that is brilliant. Is because it? it's very informative. And oh, I haven't seen it's that. It's about one. Chernobyl. I don't know if you know the Chernobyl. So no. it, it was a nuclear power uh, station in Russia. Mm. It blew up mm. and literally could have obliterated the half world. the world if wow. not the world mm. and and literally you just see how they had to sort this thing out mm. that actually Russia had screwed up themselves yeah. it's incredible you need you, you've got to watch it yeah yeah. Uh, and then yeah so okay cool um, alright yeah that's about it okay that's cool all the questions I had alright awesome <laughs> <laughs> thank you yeah it's hey, thank cool. you so much for joining yeah. me man and, uh, oh shit yeah. yes there's one more here I don't know if it makes maybe it'll make sense to you it says how he sit in the particular texture of vulnerability, therefore shame in writing, especially fiction, and the level of truth it calls for. Jeez. Uh, who? That is I, I, it's a very that. deep question. I think I, I, I will answer it how I think mm-hmm. they've asked. Uh, I think that um, any creative, there is a sense of like shame, when you, any creative output, because, and the shame is a sense that, uh, how will what I say be received? Mm. So it's more like self-consciousness than shame. Um, one. And secondly, I, I think that um, creativity, you have to be vulnerable mm. to, for true creativity. Yeah. And without being vulnerable, you are not going to create great, mm. great works. So you have to be. Mm. Yeah. Like someone like Adele, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Cool. Thank you so much, Thank Kai, you. man. Thank you, man. So, so can I join you guys, the, the Big Five? <laughs> the Big Five. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. uh, what can people look forward to? Obviously, you're, writing, you're busy writing a book. Yeah. With, how with does the writing thing go? Like, how long does it take you to write a book? It, it depends. Oh, it depends. It really it? depends on the yeah, book. Yeah, Because yeah. this one, I, I don't know. I think I've been, I, I realized that I've actually been writing this for years, mm. and, but I didn't know what, you cognizant I of thought, it. so I wanted to write a book of fiction, so I was writing it, but everything I had, I was like, oh, dialogue, does dialogue, does all this dialogue, and then now, I th- literally this year, I was like, oh, wow, this would be an interesting idea if I actually wrote it like this. Yeah. So I've been writing this for years without knowing I was writing. And is the money in, in, in writing? Well, it depends Publishing. where, the, the, it's, it depends how well you do. Mm. Um, but the very, very few South African writers can only, like, they live off writing. Oh, very okay, few. yeah, yeah. And most you know, need other jobs, you know. Yeah. And, and for me, I happened to stumble on writing. It's a hobby that, you know, did better than I expected it to. So, yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, Thank you yeah. so much, man. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, man. Yeah, so you're writing. <laughs> yeah. What else can people look forward to? Rain as well? Yeah, rain. And, of course, we're doing great things at rain. Yeah. And, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, this means you need to get on rain because we are a lot cheaper than anybody using out there. So, yeah. All right. So, I'll send <laughs> you an invoice for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you so yeah. much, Kaya. You, All right. Cheers. Sweet, man. man. Podcast okay. and chill. We out here. Boom. Boom. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.